Yeah, when, when I came to the Balanced View training, I was really struck by um, the results that I saw in, in the community and in, in the trainers and people that were sharing their experience. <coughs> Just seeing the practical results in, in everyone was so reassuring and so relieving. I, I remember somebody was, when, in my first open meeting, somebody was sharing about feeling comfortable in, in all situations and just even in, in talking in front of people and I'm like, ooh, that's what I like I, because I could never speak in front of people. I was so, you know, like that was something I thought that's not for me. I cannot do it. I'm so nervous. I cannot speak in front of people and that's just who I am and had all ideas about myself like that and then this person was sharing that she can now speak in front of people so I was really attracted to that feeling comfortable doing that and it's so amazing I, I thought that would never be possible for me first of all and now I find myself almost every day sitting in front of people and feeling comfortable <laughs> doing that and sharing my experience it's amazing it's it's like yeah it's so powerful to see like the power of this this training and that's really proof for, for in my experience proof of the training completely i mean that was like the biggest thing for for me that was saw the benefits in in um really using the four mainstays completely empowering everything about myself and that's what i always did over the years really focus on the the benefits that i have received and seeing them in in others as well and and gaining great assurance from that, keeping it really as simple as that. It, it's so obvious right away in our own direct experience. Right away we can see benefits in, in, in our direct experience through, through taking on the simple practice um, that we are offered here in the Balanced View training, this, this short moments repeated many times whenever we naturally remember to do so. Simple practice that we can apply everywhere in every moment of our life, in every circumstance of our life, we can just allow our body and mind to just completely relax for a split second, for a short moment. doesn't need to be even a second, but let's have it just a short moment. And we recognize that something about us is always present, always on, always there, that vastness of, of our mind, open intelligence. So we can introduce us introduce ourselves into open intelligence by stop, just stopping thinking for a moment. Just stop thinking for a moment and recognize that there's something about us always present, always on, never goes anywhere. That alertness, cognizance, always present. That that hears, that that sees, that that feels, that senses everything that's going on. Open intelligence, always on. So we recognize in a short moment that open intelligence is always present. Now the thoughts are always coming, emotions are always coming and going. So it's not about trying to get into a state of not thinking or not feeling or not sensing anything. Rather we see that when we stop thinking for a moment, we see that there is something about us always present that is also present when thoughts arise, when emotions arise, no matter what arises. We see open intelligence always on, equally and evenly, even if it sometimes feels more stronger or less stronger. It's the next data stream. We can allow it to be as it is. Open intelligence, equally and evenly, shining through everything. It's not that some data streams have less open intelligence and some more. Equally and evenly, open intelligence and data, inseparable, like the color blue is inseparable from the sky. We cannot separate those out. So also data and open intelligence we cannot separate out. And the more we um, recognize the inseparability of data and open intelligence, more and more we, we open up to a complete um, clarity within, within us that knows in every moment what to do, what to say, how to act. It's innate to us, the ability to know what is of most benefit for ourselves and others. So just by this simple practice that we can really um, do wherever we are in, in, in the world, whatever we are involved with, we just can allow ourselves to take short moments, repeat it many times, whenever we naturally remember to do so. No matter what thought comes up, even thoughts that might reoccur again and again, or have a really um, strong impulse that we need to act on it, 
some some data stream feels so real and so so compelling to act on it and some arise again and again so we can apply a short moment right there in the midst of the data stream in the immediacy of its arise we can just allow it to be as it is nothing needs to change with our data streams even if they reoccur again and again even if the same data streams come up again and again it's the shine of open intelligence we can allow it to be as it is Less and less we feel um, the impulse to act on a data stream just naturally loosens its grip. That's my experience with data streams. Less and less the grip that when a data comes and we feel like we need to act on it, it just naturally softens and softens. And more and more we just see clearly how we want to act in each moment. So we are not at the whim of our data stream any longer. No matter what we have for a description of the data stream, it doesn't matter anymore. But we just allow it to be as it is. We don't need to change our um, data streams in order to recognize open intelligence. So we just allow the flow of data just to go on by, whatever it might appear in our data stream. Is it negative or positive? I mean, everything will come up. We'll not just have positive data that we can be for sure. It's not possible to hold on to just positive data. I mean, before I came to this training, I thought that's, that's the goal. I need to have just positive data in order to feel relaxed, to feel at ease, to feel comfortable with myself, just positive data. And I thought when I came here that I will get just positive data. But I, I just saw more and more, oh, it's a lot about allowing data to be as it is, also the negative ones. Also the ones that I really wanted to get rid of. But I had to really face everything completely. Face all the negative data as well. Seeing them as the shine of open intelligence. If I don't face them from the vantage of open intelligence, how do I know that they are also the, um, are inseparable from open intelligence? When I give them an independent nature. So really facing everything completely. From the vantage of open intelligence, that's the invitation, seeing that really doesn't matter anymore what data stream I have, positive, negative, neutral. My ease and clarity is just completely unaffected. And through the power of open intelligence, through training that up again and again in my life, using the four mainstays, which is our support structure, the short moments that I was talking about that we can do everywhere, we have trainers that can support us when we feel we cannot let it be as it is, the data streams. We have <clears throat> trainings and open meetings. <clears throat> um, <clears throat> with my voice gone. <laughs> so we have <clears throat> trainings and open meetings and um, all over the world and also um, online and via Fuse that we can always... Um, log into, be with people that also um, support us in recognizing open intelligence as well as the community, just having so many examples of people just sharing that same way of living that was so convincing for me and reassuring to hear from other people's experience. Then using this um, support structure to empower every data streams in our life, really using, taking it up and um, yeah, really allowing everything for all data streams to be as they are. And what I can share my experience when um, I just see for myself how, how I deal with negativity or with, with data streams that come up. And I'm, I'm so grateful that I, I don't need to um, yeah, follow after these data streams anymore. It's so painful to, to, to see when, when um, people speak negative about other people or um, I, I mean, I find that really painful to hear other people like speaking about other people in that way. And I know I used to do it as well. I had all kinds of opinions about other people. And now I feel like complete openness to everyone, no matter what people are involved with. And people are in, involved with all kinds of things, but I'm completely at ease. I don't, I don't mind what people are up to. I don't need to blurt out my opinion. I'm here just to share my experience. and and share how powerful this training is, but everybody can just really be completely invited to test that out, and um, I'm completely fine with what, uh, what other people do and their choices. 
And that openness I'm so grateful for completely. And I see it in my own experience, that openness to other people, other cultures, other ways of living. I mean, where else can we just really tap into that complete openness? I've never saw, seen it anywhere in my life or was never supported anywhere in my life. And I truly wanted that always for myself, but could ne never live it. And now I'm just having a whole community that just lives in that way. It's just amazing. And that's what the world needs, basically. We don't need people that are always like not seeing the solutions, but always just going off with their negativity. I mean, then we see what, where the world is at. We really need to make a change, and it really starts with each one of us. Each one of us, it starts. We can make a change. We can make a change in our relationships. We can make a change with the people we are around with and see that we can really take responsibility for our data, that we are not at the whim of our negativity, that we can live harmonious with people. It's just like that. And that's what we, we, gain, we um, get tools here. We get tools to live a peaceful, harmonious life with ourselves and others, where we are not... Um, at the whim of our negativity or the whim of our data streams any longer. Just really complete, can be really completely open to everyone we meet, no matter who. Isn't that amazing? I mean, for me, this is just what I always wanted. And now I can really truly live it, not contrived or anything like that, but really truly live it as, as it's so natural to us. It's completely natural. There's nothing contrived, but just complete openness in every moment and solution orientation, where the focus was used to be on the problem and how, how bad everything was. Now, okay, where's the solution? It doesn't interest me anymore, the problem. Of course, we're not looking away of problems, but just really, okay, in that problem, we see the solution right there. That's amazing, and that's what we get empowered more and more. That's what we see in the, how we can live our life in the most empowered way.